Merci, c'est un besoin gagnant. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, sister. Great job. Great job. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. As you all know that this month is youth and Sunday school month. Yes. So you have to use up all the youth then. Yes. Just a few chosen ones, all right? Yes. So we are here today to give God glory and honor and, honor and praise with us giving our hearts. Father, we honor you. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for your grace and your mercies. Lord, you've been wonderful to all of us. You have done stuff for us, oh Father, that we couldn't do for ourselves. And we thank you. Have mercy upon us as we go through this day. Thank you for everything so far, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. You see, our Heavenly Father revealed to our thoughts. We receive things in our thoughts from our Holy Father. Right? And He says, He teaches us hope to walk right and talk right and yeah, so he says amen. he says if you hark you shall receive yes. uh-huh yes. if you seek you shall find yes 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 if you knock you the door shall be open yes. some teach us how to pray to him yes. so today is a great day yes. to seek the lord for help yes. Oh, yes. yeah man yes yes so i want to seek out how to get to you I want to try my best to get to you, get into your head. Hallelujah. I want to show you how God wants you to believe. Oh, God wants you to believe him for what he wants to give you. Yes. Amen. I want to get in your head so you can seek, knock, uh, yes. and ask. Yes. Amen. And so I'm going to use for a subject, light of my life. Light of my life. Mm -hmm. We're going to look on how to heal, be healed from the pains of life. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. When trial comes, you need to know what to do. Yes. Yes. Amen. So the trials are come from Christian, you know. You know, some of you feel like, say, oh, I may have to go through this. But according to the Bible, the Bible make it known that the pain you're going through, it comes, it comes to all men. Not just, the Bible think it's strange. The trial comes upon Christians as well. It occurs to all men. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Verse 13, there has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Yeah. So sometimes you go through something. God will take you through it. Amen. Sometimes you do something all right and God will take you through it. Amen. It will make you understand who Christ really is in the problem that you face. Take you through it so you can become like his son. In other words, we want to show you how to believe for your healing. Yes. And to believe for your healing, you must know in your spirit man, you know, see your flesh man, you know, your spirit man, right. that God has revealed through his word that it is his will, his will that we are we physically healed. What do you mean that, Pastor? Third John chapter 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health. Yes. Yes. Even the soul prosper. Right. Amen. So you need, you need to know how to enjoy your healing. 
Oh, Jesus. You need to know how to maintain your healing. Some of you have diabetes. And you pray to God and say, Father, take this thing from me. God say, you're my child, I take it. So God take it. And you say, I have no diabetes, I'm going to drink sugar and water, I can't juice. And you come back. You didn't maintain it. You did not maintain your healing. You got to maintain your healing. You can't just say, I have a headache. Because, you know, I'm telling you, this is the word, I am, is a positive word. Right. I am, is a positive word. I am sick. You're, you're sick. Yes. That's right. I am healed. You're healed. Yes. Oh, Jesus. We should know. Right. That's another lesson. Some of you women talk about that. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. You need to know how yes. to enjoy your healing. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Listen. But I'm saying you shouldn't pray because everybody doing it, you know. Right, if you are pray because everybody doing it, you not get nothing. That's right. Pray. Pray for help. Yes. I'm going to tell you this. Do not test God. Do the right thing. Yes. You should know that it's God. It's God's will to heal you. Yes. And you got to know deep in your heart you need to believe that things are already better. Yes, sir. Because yes. you saw the light. Yes. All right. God opened your intellect, knowledge. Yes. And show how to trust in Him. You're so quiet today, man. No, I'm sure about the preachers. You're doing well, sir. You're doing well. Glory to God. Amen. And in Hebrews 11 and 6, it says that uh, Hebrews 11 and verse 6, let me read it. I'm going to pay mine to you and I'll pay mine to the scripture, so let me read it. By, no. But without faith, yes, that's it. But without faith, it is impossible to please God or please Him. For he that cometh to God must be that he is. And that is a reward of them that diligently seek him. You know what I mean by diligent? It brings to my mind about the woman who lost her coin. And she searched diligently. In other words, some of you come from Jamaica, you know, something last thing that in, the, in the, um, the dust. Under the, under the cellar. And fall Ghana then scratch it, scratch it till the Ghana, then cover it up. Yes. But you go on there with one little brush and start to brush it. Because yes, you know it there, you don't want to go too far because I might get. All right, let me stop this one. He says he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You with me? Yes. And he also says in Matthew chapter 7. We just said a while ago, right? Yeah, man, we read it. We said a while ago. All right, Matthew 7 7. Yes. Ask. Ask. Seek. 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 and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and shall be opened unto you. For everyone, for everyone, for everyone that hearts that receive it, and he that seek it, Find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be open. Yes. Then, then, we will throw this one into it now. We will throw this one in it too. John 7, John 15. You have John 15? And verse 7. You got it? Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. If you abide in me. Yes. And my word abide in you. Ask what you will. Yes, sir. And that's the key yes. in asking, knocking, and seeking. You must be in Christ. Oh, Jesus. Yes. You know, God's so good. You know, He blessed 
the just and the unjust. But unjust blessing is to help those who are just. In other words, the unjust are better way of doing business. And the Christian have to do it in a certain way. But them just do it on TV and and then build up the wealth. So God said, listen, make your unjust to the business and you go work with him. Me make sure that I'm not thief you. Any American in here? No, I have to make sure now because I'll be back to my chat today. All right. All right, good. So you are told to keep on hearting and you will be given what your heart's for. Keep on looking and you will find. Yes. Keep on knocking and they will be hoping unto you. Yes, sir. Everyone who knock, yes. the door will open to you. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, you know you like a flex on no, no songs sometimes I have to say to you. You want you want something. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A few people really know it. Yes. Praise the Lord. To keep on knocking. If you are of the world, you'll keep on knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> all right, let me stop. Let me stop here. Let me stop here. All right. Praise the Lord, somebody. Mm -mm -mm. God is a reward, huh? Yes. of those who diligently yes. seek him. I mean, like with James, 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 in James chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Yes. Let's soon get, let's soon get now groove, all right? James chapter 1. Come on. Yes. My Bible won't find it. Here it is. Oh, we have to find it, right? And then, yes. Okay. From verse 5. Yes. If any of you lack wisdom, yes. the mouth of God that give it to all men liberally, yes. and I read it not, yes. and shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavered is like a wave of the sea, driven back and forth in the wind, tossed and forth, okay? Yes. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Why? Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So we see that the good Lord man give us in large amount, in a precise or strict, liberally. He give generously. Large amount. Yes. Listen, I don't like the word, I can't really call it. <laughs> Money efficiently. Money efficiently. Money. Money efficiently. Mm. I don't talk about money, 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 money. I don't talk about that. Money. Yes, Lord, my God. God gave it abundance. Yes. So listen to me now. When you come down to it, belief are the result of an accumulation of knowledge. Since God requires us to believe that he is a rewarder of good things, good gift for God to James. I'm saying in chapter, in verse 17, Every good gift yes. and every perfect gift yes. is from above yes. and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variant, variable, neither shadow of turning. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of light, with whom is no difference. Mm -hmm. 
with whom he is neither shut off turning. In other words, God said none can change it. What do you mean, Pastor? I said God is solid. Anything God do is solid. Anything is in solid. We have to see that any good thing you have in your life, anything that brings joy to your soul, comes from God. But of course, of course, you shouldn't say it is good if you are speaking lies. If you're sinning and being tempted, nobody say good. Because the core thought of this message here, or this passage, if we do not believe that God is a giver, we shouldn't expect to receive nothing. If you do not believe that he can heal you, don't bother pray. So verse 6 says, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, nothing wavering. Yes. 